The first uh, time I came across Turquoise Harmony was when I got an invitation to come to one of the dinners. Unfortunately, that first year I couldn't come, but my assistant, uh, Bishop Barry Wood, uh, came along, and when he came and reported to me the experience, I said, well, next time I'm not going to miss it. And I, I haven't missed one except if, if I've been away from, from the country at the time. Uh, what it has meant to me was the, the, the fact that we can meet together uh, people of different religions searching for common values. And in that search for common values, we're trying to find ways in which we can make a contribution to the welfare of the human race. I think that's one of the most important things. The video, the DVD that was shown to us this evening, I think was a, a very good overview of some of the values that are driving the Turquoise uh, um, Harmony Institute, which I think are values driving our own inter-religious council that we have here in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Yes, sir. Turkey is uh, between East and West. Uh, yes. So how Turkey can contribute to intercultural and interfaith dialogue? I think by the, these kinds of events that you have here, Turquoise Harmony, you do them in Johannesburg, you do them here in, K in Durban and in Cape Town. And I think that in itself is giving us an experience of how we can work together, how we can share together and come to discover each other. And once you start talking to people and you meet them on a, a, name, a first name basis, you, you, your suspicions that you might have had, I think, become something of the past. Yes. Hope has shown us a very good example uh, of how you change relations with others. First of all, you change your own attitude, your own approach to people. And he did that, you know, the very first week after he was uh, elected Pope. Uh, we have our Holy Week in the Christian faith, in the Catholic faith. And uh, on the Holy Thursday, which is a day on which the, um, we remember Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. Well, instead of doing it in the big basilica, the Pope went to one of the a juvenile pri uh, detention center and he celebrated there with a, a group of young uh, people who were detained in, in that prison. And he washed their feet. I think that, and among them were Muslims. There were two Muslims in that group uh, that were in detention. And there were two girls that were in that group that were in the detention. And he washed their feet. I think that was a gesture showing us that the church and church people need to be at the service of their brothers and sisters. Whoever is in need, whoever is in on the margins of society, needs us to be with them. Well, we are having a day of prayer tomorrow, prayer and fasting. Uh, Pope Francis once again leading by example, saying uh, he wants all of us, all Catholics, all Christians, all people of religion, to join and make a, this a day of, of prayer and fasting for peace in Syria in particular, but also in the Middle East in general and in the whole world. But I think there's another case of uh, when we start realizing that we cannot solve the problem ourselves, we have to turn to God and ask God to be with us and help us. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you.